Hi everyone, this is Grace of GB Maltese, and I thought I'd do a little whip and chat with you today as I'm working on my little Santa Claus. I've had some of you tell me that you enjoy listening to my whip and chat, so I thought, hey, I'm going to get on here and chat with you while I work on my little Santa. I've already started him. Um, I showed him a couple of weeks ago, I think, and he comes with a little frame and all, and it comes with this little cover piece that's the I guess the kind of like the, the faux glass and this piece does come off this plastic so it is clear so you'll be able to see Santa through there and I won't have to worry about sealing him or doing anything else to him he'll go right into this frame and he's done it comes in a little box like this and you can find these uh, on different sites. I've seen, I think I got this one um, from FG Normal. I think GBFKE.com has them. Um, there are there are some other places, but those are a couple of ones that, that I, I like. Um, what you need to look up is DIY art diamond painting and you, you can find the stuff because it's a lot of times it's not in like the diamond painting section you have to look into their special things so I thought I'd just kind of go over that with you um, I am working on Santa's little beard here right now and he's gonna be so cute He's so sparkly and shiny. Uh, I might, I might have should have be, pulled some of my pretty white, sparkly abs out, but I've already done started on this, so it's okay. I've got a lot of other things that I want to use them on. So, um, I just wanted to thank all of you who have been commenting and the likes and the subs people subscribing thank you so much if you have subscribed to my channel if you haven't would you please click that subscribe button and join my family because I think of you guys as you know my friends and family I sit here and talk and I basically think you know I've got somebody sitting next to me and when you make comments uh, underneath it even makes it more real for me that there really is someone watching so that way I don't feel like I'm well I basically I am talking to myself but I do that sometimes anyway so it doesn't matter but it's so nice to read your comments and see what you have to say and I appreciate all of the loves and prayers and blessings that you sent for me and my family you've been awesome um, my brother has been doing fine they want to do um, another sleep test on him there they think that the when I took him to the neurologist last week she said that the stroke he had could have been caused from him not using the CPAP machine he hadn't used it in years um, and she wants to do another sleep study just to see where he's at and she's going to get him another machine that will be easier for him to deal with the other one he said mask was so big and it was hard cleaning it so that was the main reason he quit using it so I'm not sure when he's going to have the sleep study done I've never had something like that that done. I don't know if I could sleep. And they won't let you take anything to help you sleep. And knowing someone's watching me, I just don't know. But people do it all the time. Have any of you done, had it done? And how was it hard for you to fall asleep? Because I know they put different kinds of... Oh for a better word, probes or whatever on your head and I guess your heart and different things just to find out how your breathing is going and how your heart rate is going and all that. So 
He's got to have that done pretty soon, and he goes back and sees the neurologist in November. I don't remember the exact date, but he hasn't told me whether he set up his sleep study yet or not. I normally see him on the weekends. Um, he, he, he loves to visit with my husband. So, if he needs me, he'll call. We're, we're just real... Uh, close to each other about mm, not even a hundred yards probably because I I can walk it and just you know very quickly but we're not like right on top of each other either so <laughs> that makes it nice um, when I was growing up I remember living in subdivisions and sometimes that would be you know you have somebody right next to you so I was used to that so when we moved to where I'm at now that was when I was a kid now with my husband we've we lived in an apartment when we first got married and of course you can hear everything then when we decided to have our house built that was it was nice my my parents gave us some land and we built our home and we weren't close to anyone <laughs> so it it's nice to kind of be away if I want to, you know, sing at the top of my lungs. Nobody's going to hear that. Oh, and talking about singing, I've had some people request that I do a video of myself singing. Um, some of you may not be interested in listening to that, but I'm trying to, I think I've got my a, new, a microphone now that will work for that. I'm hoping. I've had it now for about a week. I used it in my last video, my last whip and chat, and I'm using it in this one, and it seems to be doing okay. Um, you can tell me how it sounds to you. And normally I sing religious songs, because I sang in the church for many, many, many years. I played the piano, I played the organ. I've sung in weddings, funerals, just different things, and talent shows, and that kind of stuff. Um, and when I'm singing, I normally have a backup tape that I sing with. Well, when you're doing things on YouTube, if they pick up certain things that they think, oh, well, they're using a tape that, you know, going with that copyright stuff. So I normally, when I have sung on here before, and I just did it a cappella because I have to be careful that I don't infringe on any rights <laughs> I don't, and I don't know what that deals with on these tracks that I purchase that I use to sing with I'm not paid to you know when I use them I'm, I'm able to use them like to sing in church and things and I mean I've used them in talent shows, but I don't know how you two would feel about it, any of that kind of stuff, and I don't know where a lot of those are, because everything, you know, is on CD, and I have, I have some CDs, but not of all the songs I sing, a lot of times I'll sing while I'm playing the piano, but I probably wouldn't do that for this, it just would be so, it would be hard for me to get it all set up, I think at my piano, I don't know. Anyway, if you're interested in that, you can tell me below. Uh, another th idea, I've been toying with this one for probably two years. I used to read to my kids at school, and I really do miss it. And I was thinking that maybe I would diamond paint, or, or you can just watch me crochet something. It's just watching someone doing something. And I could read you what I was thinking of is like reading... Um, some of the Grimm's fairy tales, some of the ones you might not be familiar with. And that way you have a story you can listen to. I just love Grimm's fairy tales. Some of them are a little gruesome. Um, but I used to enjoy reading to my kids at school. I really did. I mean, I could always <laughs> read to you read picture books to you and show you the pictures like I did my kids in third grade. Of course in junior high 
I just read novels, but I really don't, I, I would like to be able to read a story and finish it in one sitting so that you're not having to wait and listen to it at a different time. Because that would get, I don't know, because there are books that people have recorded on YouTube that you can listen to. And I have done that. They're very, very long. And um, sometimes I'll start one and then I'll not listen to it for a while and I'll forget. So, I don't know. And, or if you, of course, I enjoy just sitting here talking to you. But if you have any ideas of something you'd like to hear me do or say on here, just let me know. You know, it's kind of like I want to... You may have thought of something I've never thought of. Another reason. This is one of the main reasons I decided to jump on here today. Lately, I have been noticing in my comment sections, I am getting some strange comments from some people I do not know who they are. I know they're not watching the video. And I'll tell you how I know this. I saw a, a comment and it said something like, Oh, that's really nice. Um, or, I love you. You know, and all these hearts and kisses and things. And when I looked at the thumbnail, it had this really nasty picture there. I'm like, okay. Um, where is this coming from? So I actually clicked on their, their link and, and I get a bunch of them. Some of them say, I, I need a boyfriend. Will you be my boyfriend? Um, so it's really strange. So I clicked on it and I'm going to spell out what kind of site it was because YouTube listens for keywords and if they hear them as it's being uploaded, as my video is being uploaded, they could decide they're not going to upload my video for using certain terms. So the site was basically a P-O-R-N-O -O site dealing in S-E-X videos. I don't know that that last one would be tagged, but the first one probably if I was talking about that type of thing. But that's what it has uh, on the side is S period, E period, X period. And it had, oh, it is, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got an eye full of things I really didn't want to see. Um, anyway, I showed it to my husband. I said, look at this. And what they do is they must, I don't know how many different names that they have made up. Because they will put, they, they may put a dozen different things under my video. And I have to go through, and I have been clicking and reporting, and then click to delete or to block, hide from my channel. And while I'm doing that, sometimes uh, it lags. So when I go to click delete, it may delete one of your comments. So it's getting, it's, that's what's making me probably the angriest is that one of your video, one of your comments would get deleted. So I'm really getting sick and tired of it. Any of you out there that have a YouTube channel, has this happened to you? Are you getting these weirdos putting stupid things? I mean, if I didn't really look at it you know because some of the things I put was oh that's really cute or something but when I look at the picture I can see this woman's breasts I'm like really <laughs> my subscribers are going to think you know uh, I'm doing a uh, part-time thing is you know dazzling bunny or something you know that that's my <laughs> diamond bunny on some other site no but and I'm not you know course so it's really frustrating uh, after I did my especially the last one I did there were more than ever the one with our showing all the cute cover minders that Georgia sent me and I'm like really really 
<laughs> and one of the comments said, oh, would you like to do this to me? And they'll put a time number on there. Like, you know, in my vid from my video. Okay, I'm showing cover minders. So, um, it was just really strange. So, I spend my time going through and trying to get rid of those. Um, and then again, I checked it again today, and there were more of them. And they have a different name each time and a different picture. So, they probably have thousands of different um, profiles they've made. If you see it, just rest assured, I am not moonlighting in that profession. <laughs> I just <laughs> might as well laugh because it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's ridiculous. They, they might want to see what the video's about before they just slap something down there and think, Mm, that doesn't really go with that, but I guess they think, oh, someone's going to see, you know, I've I seen their uh, big booty in the camera, you know, in their profile. I'm like, hmm, really? Um, sorry, not interested. But if you've seen that, uh, I am so sorry that you had to see it because... I'm getting really frustrated with that. We'll see how many of them get put up underneath this video before I check it. <laughs> Just remember, I do not know these people. And I will be deleting them as soon as I get around to it. It just makes, makes the, your life as a, a YouTuber even more fun and entertaining. Oh, well... I guess they're trying to make a buck or two. I don't know, but uh, they might want to target a different audience than than the one I have. I don't know. So I I just saw that, and I'm thinking, what I was thinking is, I wonder how many of my wonderful subscribers have seen that, and we're thinking, or you probably you most of you probably don't even notice. Um, what the others are putting, but, um, and some of them, like I said, are very innocent. Um, but when you look at the thumbnail picture, whoa, <laughs> don't look too close. Um, because I'm looking at these on my laptop and, you know, I don't have a huge screen, but just like a 15 inch screen that's big enough for me to see what's in that profile. And if you're watching it on TV... You're going to really get an eyeful. <laughs> oh, Lord, help us. I'm telling you. <sighs> that, that, you know, that's a hard one to follow up on. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Um, this week has just been kind of a... Um, just a normal week I, I had so much fun doing the videos opening my my little packages and I have some of you have written emails to me and they are just the sweetest things I don't know if you want me to some of you want me to write back or not some of them are real short um, and most of you a lot of you are just like writing something and sending me your your address for the, the little thing I've told you about that I'm doing for my subscribers who comment. So I am I am one of the worst at getting back to writing. It seems like I spend quite a bit of time answering comments. I try to answer comments. And I usually wait a while before I answer them so I have several to do at one time and I'll sit down for an hour or two and, and do that and then sometimes I'll forget that I have an email that someone sent me so forgive me if I have not written back to you um, I've been saving those addresses into a folder on my computer for 
I just called it Happy Mail. So those will be, like I said, you'll, you're never going to know when it's coming. I might say I've sent so, so many. I'm not going to tell who I've sent to or what I've sent because I'm going to send different things to different people. It's not going to all be the same. Um, don't want to get bored, you know. So, oh, I got a, I got a piece of gum. <laughs> just, just joking with you. I'm just, and some of you have said just. Pl I, I would just be happy with a card, um, and. I have different things, like I said, I have some things that um, I'll be sending. I had a couple more people send their addresses from last time, so um, what I'll do is, and when I send something, I'm just going to kind of put a mark in my book to show that I have sent something. And so I'll know I've sent one thing, and you know if I get around, I'm to, you know to everyone or whatever, you might get something else. I'm kind of sneaky that way. You just never know. You just never know. So let's see. I'm trying to get all my sixes here. I'm gonna finish with Santa pretty soon. I'm Y'all tell me if I'm getting out of screen. <laughs> I keep pulling it closer and closer to myself so I can see it. I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not being a very good hostess here. I wish I could um you know pass out some cookies and and things. But we haven't gotten to that part where I can share that. <laughs> I don't know if I'd have enough cookies. So it's quiet. Quiet um, health-wise around here. Thankful. I'm so happy about that. That is um, good news. It's fabulous news. Wonderful news. I just want to have some happiness joy and peace going around. Okay. Let's put this down. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of <laughs> trying to think of what I want to say. Some days I get on here and it just starts flowing flying out of my mouth but that I had that one thing on my mind that I wanted to talk about with those comments and <laughs> that came out in a heated rush and gotta move on to something else I just never dreamed I'd have that kind of <laughs> thing to worry about on a crafting channel of all things how many of you out there um, crochet that are watching or listening to this how many of you out there do crochet and um, or knit and would like me to do a video showing how I make my twiddle muffs I've had people in the past but that's been over a year and I think I might have a microphone or I might have to do a voice. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. It's so hard to do tutorials that are um, that involved because I've had people want me to show from the very beginning to the end. And I just don't know. You would have to know how to crochet in order to do this because I won't be doing like just starting from the basics because that would take an eternity. There are a lot of videos out there showing how to do basic crochet stitches. And if you're interested in me showing you how to do any basic crochet, I, I, would, I don't mind doing it. It's, um, you can make your twiddle muffs as fancy or plain as you like. I tend to 
put a lot of stuff on mine. That's just because that's how I am. I'm just kind of a all out there person. But I would like to start doing some. And a twiddle moth, for those of you who are thinking, what in the world is she talking about? They are normally used for people who have dementia or Alzheimer's. Do any of you out there have um, a family member or a loved one, whatever, that has Alzheimer's or dementia or just severe anxiety? Because that is, it's, it's, it's basically like a tube, and you can put both hands in it, and you, you put different things on, you sew different types of things to twiddle with. And I've made one that's like just goes on the wrist. So I'm thinking I might do, um, if you can do one, you can do both. I mean, it's the same principle. But some, of, some people might want just like the wrist size, because you can just put it on your wrist, and it's not going to fall off. Um, some people do lap blankets. They're twiddle blankets, that's what they call them. Or twiddle mat is more like it. And it could be laid in your lap or on a table and have different things to twiddle with. And you can do this with any, if you, if you sew, um, if you do loom knitting, anything. So if you're interested in that, just would you please comment below. I would be interested in learning how to make a twiddle muff. That kind of will give me an idea whether it's something I want to go forward with or not. Um, I have some videos that I've shown twiddle, what my twiddle muffs look like. Some of them that I've done in the past. And if, you, if you're on a laptop, you can go to the little, my main page and where the little magnifying glass in is. You can type twiddle muff next to it and, you know, enter. And the videos that I have done making or showing my twiddle muffs, you can see them. And I've had people in the past really tell me they want to make one. They weren't exactly sure how to do it. I had seen them in the UK. They were very, very popular. And I thought, this is something we need to do in the U.S. And I, it's starting to really catch on. I had, like, um, I've talked about them before, so... You may be sick and tired of me talking about it. It was, it was just something I was very passionate about is to help some of the people in the nursing homes or people who have problems because they can't help that. They can't help, you know, what they're going through. Did I just... Wait a minute. Oh, okay. I thought, oh my gosh. There's another whole bag of number six, but I had... I had plenty in that bag, so yeah, you get plenty of um, drills. I have a no whole other bag of number six that I can use. I think I'll get rid of this bag. I won't have to worry about even closing that one up. Um, of course, I'll probably find that I missed one on here, but it doesn't matter. Okay, now number seven. And number seven is pretty red. Ooh, I like this. Look at that red. Some red rhinestones. We're going to make Santa sparkle more. You can see the sparkles on him already. He's going to be cute. And you can hang this on the wall or set it up on a desk because it has a little stand on the back. I thought that was kind of cool. Kind of cool. Okay, let me... Okay, let's see. I've got different shades of red here on Santa. So let's see what this one's going to look like. Okay, this is number seven. So it's kind of cool that they've put these different shades because this is kind of a pinky color. Let's see if this is maybe a darker red. Oh, I think it's a little bit bigger too. Yeah, the stone is bigger is what it is. I'm not sure if you can tell that or not. The stone is a little bit bigger than the other one. So, that's interesting. Okay, well, let's get down here and put these number sevens in. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I forgot to mention we are having the rain today. The Hurricane Delta did not come in to come right over us it 
poor Louisiana has had it so bad this hurricane season. We seem to, they seem to all want to be going in there, but we are getting some rain. Not just massive amounts, but it's it's raining and it things are a little bit cooler because of the rain. So that means tomorrow it'll be sunny and probably very humid. <clears throat> it would be like walking out in a sauna. <laughs> I think it'll be somewhere in the 80s. And I think we're supposed to be up to 90 on Sunday. And then be in the 80s again. And then I'm hoping we'll be in the 70s by the next weekend. I'm ready for it to just be cool and stay cool. It's nice when it's in the, you know, daytime temps are in the, to me, lower 70s, even like upper 60s. Um, what we're having are, are the 70s at night right now. That's not real comfy, especially with high humidity. So, don't feel much like walking around out there. Oh, there's a number one right there I missed. Um... It's easy to miss these little, little things like that. But I like to choose a color and just go with it so that I'm not having to keep changing colors in my tray. Everybody does it differently and there's no right or wrong way to do this. Do it. What makes, what makes you happy is the way you need to do it. That's what I say. If you're happy doing it, Keep on. It's not going to hurt anybody. This is a fun little one to do. They had some other... I think they had some other little pictures that were kind of like this. These are, these are cute. They're easy. They're fun to do. This would make a cute little gift to give someone. To even do... To start out with a diamond painting if they've never done one. Because it's so easy. And, or you can give it as a gift that you have finished. Or use it as a decoration. I'm planning on just setting it up as a little decoration. Because he's so shiny and cute. He's so cute. I've got my, if you were watching the, where my unboxings, I had the little, Yorkie in the green Santa suit. He's so cute. I got him ready to do pretty soon. Oh, I'm going to do another ironing video. What I found when I did my last one was I didn't realize with some of these newer ones I've been getting, they seem to have more paper, paper in the canvas or something. So I put a too much water and it kind of made it wavy I mean I can still diamond paint on it but I have been playing around with another way so I'm going to do another video on ironing with uh, a different way to do it because the um, I've done the ones the double stick canvases and didn't have quite the ordeal as this is but I have a different way and another thing that I didn't mention in that video was that my husband had taken off with my water bottle that I normally use and it just sprays um, a small amount at a time and the one I had it sprayed out a whole lot more than I was planning I was just like okay we kind of overdid it with the water I mean, it didn't hurt the canvas at all. I, I'm still able to do it. And it, the smaller one that I did um, with, let's see. Oh, with the little cardinals. That one was fine. It was my bigger one with the manger seam that it seemed to kind of stretch the canvas a little bit. And I'm thinking it might, I don't know if it's the paper or the type of canvas it was. But that's another thing you have to kind of watch out for. Or, oh, that's a, in the wrong place. Uh, and that's another thing I want to go over. 
is do a little bit more thorough video. I was, I tried to, I guess, try to do it so quick because I have people tell me things like, oh, you talked too long or it takes you too long to, to and then I miss out on maybe telling you some things that are important. So I've got to stop listening to some of those other people because it's, it's not going to be come out the way I want it. Okay, there's a couple more sevens up there that I missed right up here. So I'm going to do that again. If not this weekend, then um, Monday afternoon or Tuesday. Monday morning, ugh, I have to sit through a video webinar for... Uh, teacher retirement insurance things. They're changing our insurance to a different company. So now I've got to watch that. It's two hours from 9 to 11. I'm like, really? You couldn't probably say that in 30 minutes? We will see. I just want to see if they're making any major changes um, to that insurance. They say they're not, but you know, you just never know. You never know. So, I've got to. I gotta watch that Monday morning. So excited! Can't you tell? I just love it. When I was teaching school, we'd have faculty meetings, or we'd have to go to teacher workshops, or all these different things. And the thing that got me the most was when they would do a PowerPoint or they would have slides and they'd read them straight out to you like we couldn't read it for ourselves. They used to just irritate me to no end. I can read it and you reading it makes it real boring especially with the way you read. You might want to uh, learn how to read with a little bit more enthusiasm if you're planning on reading that to me. Oh, it was awful. I used to hate we'd have professional development days and the kids, you know, would get the day off and the teachers would have professional development. Boy, they should have called it, let's waste your day. Because that's what they did. Now, instead of letting us work in our classrooms, working um because teachers work is really is never done <laughs> by the time you think you've caught up you're uh behind again There's, you're just never able to catch up with all the things you have to do so they get you in there and they tell you some new thing that they've come up with that you're sitting in there and you know in your mind that isn't gonna work and it doesn't because they they keep changing it around. If they just leave it alone and let the teachers, you know, they need to go in there and if they think a teacher's not doing their job, they need to go in there and check it out. And, you know, have a talk with them and tell them, you know, this, we need to see you doing this or whatever. But to keep changing things around all the time and I know a lot of you that are having to help your kids with the math isn't that new math the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen I remember one year I don't remember if we did it for one or two years we had an extra class built into the day it was kind of like a study hall and I'm, I teach English okay I was an English teacher and then I was teaching ESL, English as a Second Language. But during that period, we were supposed to tutor math, okay? We have these kids come to our classes. They were not kids that we taught, actually. <laughs> I had kids I have never had met in my life. They came into my classroom, and I was supposed to, they were supposed to work on their math. Supposed to give them extra time to work on their math. And if they had a question, um, because I had algebra kids coming to my classroom, I'm like, y'all can help each other. 
I hadn't done algebra in so long. It was like, people, are y'all kidding me? You're, you want me to show them, you know, if they don't understand something in algebra? Um, sorry. But I haven't done algebra in years. You know, if, if they were having me tutor them in English, or even with science or history or something like that, where I can look it up and find it, but... Um, no. Even with the new math in the elementary schools, because I taught third grade for 17 years, junior high for 17, this way that they do of separating the ones, tens, hundreds places, it that's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Um, I, I can't even explain it. It was so ridiculous. The kids would show it to me, my um, ESL kids, for me to help them with their math or whatever problems they were having in their classes. I'd look at that and I'm like, well, I know how to do it this way. That way makes no sense to me. And the teachers required them to show their work, of course, that they were doing it the way they showed them how to do it. Well, I couldn't do it the way they showed them how to do it because I didn't know anything about it. So that was a real, that was a real treat. And I'm like, who came up with this stupid idea to change math up in a, in a way that really makes no sense? I think that's the wrong color right there. I think that may be number 11 and, and his supposed to be his eyeball. And it is. <laughs> I thought that looked like it might be in, in the spot where his eyeball would go, and he ain't going to have pink eyes. Okay. This is how I normally get these things out. Sometimes those tweezers aren't as good as just using a regular pen, empty pen, and just picking it out. That's how I normally can get them out. And then I had this little one. I'll put it back in his spot. Now he's got some eyes. <laughs> there we go. Before we just had, yeah, I guess, a winking Santa. <laughs> Poor Santa. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to take your eyeball out. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that just sounded a little weird. But the more I looked at it, I'm like, okay, this isn't looking right. I'm almost finished, so I guess I can just keep on going. While I'm talking to you, but but that was the craziest thing when they told us, okay, let's let's we're gonna have this extra class period, and every teacher had to have a group of kids that they were to help them with their math. They were to get an extra study period because you know they couldn't all go to their math teachers at one period, but they might as well have just gone and sat under a tree. <laughs> If it was um, certain things, I could help them with. But, like I said, algebra, I hadn't done that in so long and didn't really care for it when I, when I did it the first time. So, um, yeah, that was a waste. It was a real waste. So, um, the kids that were in the classroom who knew how to do it, they went around and they helped each other, so it worked out fine. So, was I wasn't I wasn't going to uh, steer them in the wrong direction and pretend like I knew what I was doing. Have you ever been around somebody who acts like they know everything about everything? Yeah, well, I'm not going to do that because uh, I don't know everything about everything. You know, I know something about several things I don't know at all and I've never claimed to know it all <laughs> within the that and in that uh, perspective I knew so you parents that are having to still have your kids at home our schools where I live they started back August the 13th and the kids had a choice of doing online school or they could go to school well about 75 percent of the kids decided they were going back to school and i haven't heard of any major outbreaks of 
COVID or anything. So I don't know. I guess things are going okay. Um, they wear their masks and that kind of thing. So, and it, like I said, we're in a smaller town. And they are doing, they're doing things the best way that they can. And the kids could not wait to get back into school. And I know the parents couldn't wait for the kids to get back to school. You know, for the teachers to go over the things that they, you know, that they have studied and know more about. I can understand that. But it's just been real strange. I know there are schools that still haven't started back. And I think some are going to slowly start be starting back I think you're gonna have choices I don't know and some people you know are are scared I, I don't you know it is it's kind of scary thing but like I said they've done it here I uh, since I'm not in the school district anymore and uh, I'm not mentoring any teachers they uh, certainly weren't gonna ask other people to come into the school this time this year to do anything so they're not trying to have more people in than need to be in there so all we can do is you know give our prayers to everyone involved in all of the processes that are going on it's just a strange year and we're just going to try to everyone needs to just try to get through it the best they can um no one said you know life was going to be easy oh there's some more tins up there jeez it's so easy to just look right past those numbers even when they're as plain as a nose on my face yeah i have no problems finding my nose on my face Okay, I think I got the tens done. Let's see, number 11. Number 11. What color are you going to be? What color are Santa's eyes? I'm curious. What colors are they giving him? Okay, they're giving him black eyes. Okay, I thought maybe they were going to give him some bright blue eyes, but no. But he's got his little cherry nose. Okay, this is number 11. Shake them up. Let's see. There we go. And his little mouth right there. Okay, there's another number 11 right here. And I don't see any more. So, we have a bunch of number 11s left. They do give you more than enough drills to do this little fella. Okay, so now we're on number 12. And number 12. Okay, these look like they're AB whites. So they have a little bit of... Oh, I cut it on the opposite end of the number. Because if you cut the number off... Unless you write it on there, you're not going to have any idea what number you have. Okay, shake these up a little bit. Well, no, I don't guess these are ABs. They're just a little bit bigger. That's what they look like. They're bigger than the other white ones. Yep, they sure are. Oops, let's not put it up, pick it upside down. These bigger ones are harder to get turned over in this little boat, a little tray, whatever you want to call it. It does look kind of like a little boat. Looks like a little rowboat you could sit in and get your little oars and paddle around. Okay, this looks, you know, they're a little bit bigger and higher and it makes his beard look a little fluffy to me. I don't know if you can see that or not. That's kind of cool. I'm really liking this little picture. And he's fun to do. 
he's real fun. I'm enjoying this. Enjoying little Santa Claus here. And he'll have his own little frame and he'll be ready. He won't have to do anything else to him. Yeah. Getting him some puffiness in his beard. Yeah, Santa, you gotta have a fluffy beard. You can't have just that little flat beard that we had going on there. Yeah, that's cool. These are different than regular drills. They're taller and they're bigger around than a normal sized one. That, that's, that is so neat looking. Looks like he's got little puff balls in there. Puffin, puff, 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 little Santa puff. He's gonna puff his beard out. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting along. Oh, there's some white right there. I think that's part of his suit. go. Drop my little puff ball. Hard to get these things. There we are. I got some more of them up upright. Get your tray close to where you're working so you don't have to travel too far with your pen and you go much quicker. Not that I'm in any race, but I, I just can't wait to see how his little beard's going to look this puffy reminds me of pom-poms almost except of course they're hard and have a flat side <laughs> mm. so cute oh look at that okay we got let's do this one right here on his arm I guess Turn them the right side up. Want that humped edge up. You gotta pick it up by the mountaintop. Okay, here's some twelves here. Make his little hat ball puffy. There we go. Yes, that's looking awesome. Yeah, look at Santa. <laughs> I am liking Santa, how Santa's looking. It's looking pretty awesome here. Yeah, I have not done any, of course, for the last several years I've done my Christmas shopping online. It's just always been easier and since I live in a small town, there's some of the things that I want to get I can't find here. So, well, of course I hadn't purchased one thing. I normally... Don't just. I don't wait to. I try not to wait to the last minute. I'll put it that way. Okay, well now we're on number thirteen, and these look like some big blue ones. Okay, that's gonna be some pretty stuff here. Some pretty, pretty stuff. Yeah. Okay. Get these big. Blue babies in there. Yeah. They give you more than enough. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. And I can see where I have missed a couple of little ones. There's one number one and one number four missing. So I'm going to grab bag number one. And I had it taped. I'm just going to. Sometimes you can get it open without tearing the tape. Sometimes you can't. Just replace the tape if it doesn't. Okay, I got one out. So. Okay, I saw it just a minute ago. Oh, there it is. 
that's what happens. You pick it up and then you can't find it. Okay, and there's a number four up there by his hat. Pom pom. So, let's see. Can I get number four opened without tearing the tape? No. It was already starting to open. And that's no big deal. I can just put another piece of tape. Okay, drop that down there. Oh, come on. There it goes. And put number four. And Santa Claus is finished. He's so cute. I'm thinking I may have to cut the, yeah, I'm going to have to cut these edges. I'm going to cut these white edges off. It even shows you with scissors to cut it off. Well, I can do that while I'm talking to you. I'll cut this little area off. i got my little scissors here. My little tiny scissors. These are little, but they are sharp. I'll tell you what, these things are sharp as a... Oh, I guess I got that maybe too close in your face. Sorry. These are sharp as a knife. Um, I purchased these from a place, I think it's called warmcrochet.com a few years ago, and these things are still sharp as sharp as they can be. I really do like them. They're pretty, and they work great. I've got two different pairs. I have one in my crochet bag, and then I have one that I keep close by here. Sometimes I use it to open thing, open packages and things with. Okay. And then cut the bottom, and we're going to see what happens. I'm going to keep putting him up right up in your face. <laughs> Sorry. I try not to poke you in the eye. Uh, there we go. <coughs> okay. There's Lay Santa down right there. And let's put his little... Let's put this little piece of... For, um, plexiglass or whatever you want to call it. A little piece of plastic will be the covering. Yeah. Okay. So we got that there. And well. I'm not going to put the backing on yet. I'm not sure if I've got this done correctly. But there he is. Isn't he cute? Here's the little backing part that will go in here. I'll figure I'll figure that part out later. It goes on the back. I may even have this. Yeah, I got it turned backwards. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Yeah, Santa would have just fallen right out of the frame, wouldn't he? So, yeah, these are just going to go underneath. There's like a ridge. And push this there. <coughs> and then you got this. And let's see. Let's push these under here. I'm not going to worry about getting pushed all the way right now. I'll worry about that later. I just want to see what it looks like. And voila! There's Santa! Yay! Isn't he cute? Santa is done. That was very easy and quick to do. And he came out really cute. But his I didn't have to seal it because you got this over it. It's gonna keep it's pressed up against it. That's pretty neat. I may have to get some more some more of these little things. I didn't think they would be this cute. What do you think about Santa? He's adorable. You're so cute, Santa. Look at that. Anyway, I think I will let you go for now. Um, you've probably heard enough of me going on and on. I don't even remember what all I've talked about. I did. Ta I know for one thing I told you about me not being, um, you know, sparkly bunny or diamond bunny on the side. 
<laughs> so if you see any of those little comments under there and see those pictures, just know that uh, I have nothing to do with that. <laughs> okay? You guys have a blessed day. I love you. And take care of yourselves. And um, I hope you're having a wonderful whatever time it is. God bless you. Bye. Love you guys.